welcome back. Um, I haven't done any tutorials in a while, and I'm going to be using this in my uh, split screen survival world for our sorting system, so I thought I would do a tutorial over it before that episode gets out. Um, so basically, this it just sorts your items automatically. Um, obviously, it is iron consuming using the hoppers, it's five per. Um, and so, yeah, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys. And uh, all right. So let me go ahead and mix them up. That's what we're doing on there. Just mix them up so that they're not in the right order. Do some more on the ground, probably. All right, all right. There we go. So they're not in the order that they are in the chest. Wait a couple seconds, and I'll be back when that's done. So, well, no, I won't get some tickets. I don't know. We'll just wait. We'll be, we can do this. this one. Okay. A couple more seconds, and uh, this also has an overflow chest because um, I put in a color that was not sortable to the system. So, we have the six that doesn't have a spot to go, and the four for the gray. Four for the pink. Four here. Four here. Yep. Uh huh. And orange. Perfect. It worked out great. Um. Also, just so you know, like in here, um, the items that I found work best is uh, three fives and one six. Um, and this basically is to make it to where it triggers, and then there'll be an item in this hopper as well as in this hopper extras. Well, sort of extras, but you know. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get to the tutorial. Alright, so here we go. Um, so, I use trap chests and regular chests in my build, but it's recommended you don't use trap chests because whenever you open a trap chest, you know, it sends a redstone signal, so it could uh, possibly mess up the hoppers. But uh, I still use them just because it's more convenient. We're just going to do a small build for this one. So first things first, you're going to want to set down your chest that you're using to actually Minecraft. store stuff. And then you're going to place the hoppers and back into them. And from there you'll place two blocks up, or if you're doing it in single player world, there will be blocks there. But you need to be able to get redstone torches and repeat like that. And from there, you're going to put redstone repeaters on the bottom, facing the block to the redstone torch. And from there you put blocks, oops, blocks on top and blocks behind. And then you're going to take the comparator and go pointing away. And then you're going to take the hopper and paste this hopper any direction but down. So I use the comparator to place the hopper just because it makes it an easy place and it's not facing anyway. It's wrong. After that, you're going to take your redstone and place it like this. And that basically is what triggers the, uh, the repeater to turn off the torch, which unlocks the hopper. And then from there, um, you can, you know, you'll have your setup to actually store items. So, uh, I've got a couple more bits of computers. So we'll make this one. Oh, I have a problem. Yeah. So, oops. so to make it to where oh I have the same one. I lied. Um, you want it to be on the block above it. My bad. And these uh, obviously they're going to be facing uh, the direction that your chests are going. Like not the direction, but like the direction that you're still consistent. And then you'll have your chest. My apologies. So you, you're gonna have three rows of hoppers where there are chests. Uh, and then in the second row where the comparator is placing, you're gonna do three rows of five and one of six, like that. And then you'll do the same thing for the other ones that you want them sorted. 
So it's it's 21 blocks in total, just so you know. Yeah. And then uh, we can go ahead and actually, and then uh, whichever chest you're using, or um, or just the uh, overflow, uh, those those hoppers can be just placed straight down like that. Um, so this is our overflow. Um, we're gonna make this one hoppers. And make this one redstone repeaters. And this one comparators. And then the rest of these, or everything else would go in the slash chest except for those three. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw those in there real quick. Have those go in. Wait for some of this to go in. Wait for some hoppers to go in. Some torches and other things. Um, and so basically, uh, it didn't work. Why, did it work. Why is there some? Ah, I know. Piece of cobble. Don't put cobble in. If you put cobble in, I'm gonna mess up your whole system. My apologies on that. Okay. So this one's. This one's computers. Computers. This one was hoppers. Also, what happened to. Hold on. How does it work? Oh no, we're good. Alright, so one, two. Yeah, so whatever you do, don't send a problem down your system. Okay, now let's make sure everything's right. Alright, there we go. Now let's try this. Just send some of these. Alright, so uh, now that we've sent some down, and uh, hopefully it will work correctly this time. So we have hoppers in the hopper one, repeaters in the repeater one, comparators in the comparators, and everything else that was not a part of our sorting system went into the overflow chest. And uh, this is expandable um, to basically as far as you can make it. I mean, you just have to keep adding chests and hoppers. Um, and you can have it uh, patterned. If you don't know how to make trap chests, it's uh, just a regular chest with a hook. Uh, where is, where is it? The tripwire hook, just a regular chest, and a tripwire hook next to it and a crafting bench. That will make you a trap chest. Um, otherwise, you can just make it do every other, like, so this one won't be here, this one won't be here, and you know, every other from there. But well, besides that, guys, this is how to make a automatic sorting system. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys in the next.